Hey guys, I'm so excited to show you how I'm going to take this simple tub and elevate it with this board and a couple shaker pegs. So hit the thumbs up and let's go. Okay, so the first step is to measure our space and we're going to use the little trick of the tape measure. My tape measure is three and a half inches wide and so I'm just going to run my tape measure from one end of the wall right above the schluter there on the tile and then I'm going to butt it up against the other end of the wall and then whatever my measurement is I'm going to add three and a half inches and that is my length. No weird bending the tape measure and all that stuff. So then you're going to want to go ahead and check out your board, check the ends if there's a weird knot or a mark um, on your board. You're going to want to cut that off if you can. And check the ends because you may want to start with a fresh cut on one end. Um, I'm lo also looking at each surface to make sure I, I have the correct side as the front, um, no scratches or mars on the board. So then I just go ahead and measure out my exact length which was 58 and 3 quarters inch and then I'm just going to use a pencil and mark it and the way I do it is I mark the board and then I plan on cutting off the pencil mark so that's how I mark my boards but you could do it differently. Okay so let's go ahead clamp on our select plain board and make our cut. Okay so we're going to Open up our meter saw. What I like to do is I like to have the board flush and then I bring down the blade to make sure it's going to cut where my mark is. It's better to cut a little bit larger than too short because you can always make some more hairline cuts. Okay. I have my safety gear on, my hands are away from the saw, and I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go take this into the bathroom and see how it fits. Okay, so our board fits. Okay guys, so I'm just going to take a moment and find all the studs on the wall. Um, this will help me to mark my stud points on the board so that I can drill everything correctly. My, um, my peg rail is not going to carry significant weight, so I determined that uh, two holes for the studs was adequate. Um, I didn't want to do a center one because I have a center peg. Hey, so uh, my little trick to find the center of my board um, it's all about not having to divide fractions. So if you don't like fractions either, um, you can take a piece of string that doesn't stretch, like this twine for instance, and you're gonna go ahead and cut each end so that you have the exact length of your board. And once you have that piece ready to go, then you just fold it in half and lay it back on the board and that's gonna show you your exact center without having to do any math. Um, and so I am finding the center because I'm going to place a peg directly center. I like the look of that. I wanted an odd number of pegs and so that's the way it worked out for me. Um, that may not be the case for you. Maybe you want to um, mount it to a stud in the center and that's fine. So I mark my vertical point. And then the width of my board is an inch and a half. And so I'm also gonna mark the other axis at three quarters of an inch. That way my peg will be perfectly centered on the board. Um, and so at that point, I'm just gonna go ahead and mark out six inches um, for each peg. So it's six inches on center, which means I line up the six with one peg mark. And then on my zero point, that's where I line up the next. So um, every six inches is where I'm going to mark and then afterwards then I mark the other direction too so I have the exact center. Pre-drill, just make sure that your drill bit is smaller than your shaker peg screw 
you don't want it slipping out. And then I also like to give it a little finishing look uh, with a bigger drill bit to countersink my screw. Once your peg rail is set up, uh, go ahead and add a layer or two of polyurethane. This will protect it from the humid environment. My board is all dry and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and install it directly into the two studs on my wall. I'm using three inch construction screws and um, I like how the, the head of the screw is brass like my um, tub faucet. I just think it's a nice touch and I love how the screw countersinks uh, so that it's flush and after I add my final peg, I am ready to style it.